Brexit means Brexit, like Theresa May said. But Brexit also means making choices about our future relationship. We want a deal, but not at any cost. The European Council was extremely clear. We are 100% united and we expressed our unwavering support to our chief negotiator, Michel Barnier. The deal we are trying to achieve would be absolutely unprecedented. This was the will of the EU and the UK when agreeing on the scope of the future partnership in our joint political declaration. And it is uh, still our will. No other economy is as closely aligned to ours as the British economy. We need to ensure that uh, the European Union and the United Kingdom's companies face fair competition on the EU market. And this is why we have put so much emphasis on ensuring a level playing field and on governance and conflict resolution. Together with fisheries, these are the main outstanding issues uh, where we are still far apart. Deal or no deal, the withdrawal agreement must be respected. We will remain firm. We're ready to discuss all subjects on the basis of legal texts. We're here to negotiate an agreement, an international treaty, and that's a legal document, a legal instrument. And my team was fully prepared to travel to London from Monday this week to keep working. What won't change either is the framework set out by the EU for this ambition agree ambitious agreement with the United Kingdom. Progress had been made over the past few weeks with the UK on law enforcement cooperation. I know uh, how uh, important this is to the European Parliament. We move forward on protecting human rights, Europol, Eurojust, data protection and other areas as well. So uh, there is an outline emerging for this deal on these points. We're also moving forward on transportation. The UK has uh, agreed to a specific level playing field when it comes to that, in particular when it comes to road transportation. The UK will be participating in some important, some significant European projects such as Horizon and Erasmus, and there's also thematic cooperation as well. Public health, which is of the utmost urgency today, and cyber security. These are areas where we've made positive progress thanks to the negotiations. But there's still disagreement on a number of other issues, even if we can see that there may be a way forward on this, particularly when it comes to trade of goods and services, energy, and social security coordination. And then there are three major issues that's touched on by President Michel earlier. These are issues where progress must be made because there are real differences in these areas. The level playing field, fisheries, and governance.